How is it going everyone? I uh, figured I'd make a little quick video showcasing not only how to configure your Open Flash tablet to work with ROM Raider, but also how to edit your map and create kind of like a pop and uh, backfire effect. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and fire up ROM Raider. Awesome, so with ROM Raider open, what we want to do is head over to ECU Definitions, and then over to uh, ECU Definition Manager. With the window now open, we should be able to import the Open Flash tablet definitions into ROM Raider. So we'll click Add. And then we can navigate over to the Tunes folder that you got from the Open Flash uh, website. I'll leave a link down in the description to this exact uh, folder here. And once we go into the XMLs, uh, we'll just pick the one that corresponds with what we need. And then you can hit Open. We've already went ahead and done so there, so we can kind of skip that so of course you'd want to save it and then apply so with the definitions now taken care of we can open up a file and make some changes to achieve that backfire effect we mentioned earlier so we'll head up the file and then open image and then just navigate to the uh, corresponding bin file for your your needs uh, so we'll go ahead and fire this up and you'll occasionally get a, um, a definitions error one will more than likely pop up. This is completely normal. This checks them corrected. When it's saved, we can just hit OK on that a couple of times. Awesome. Now here we are. So as soon as uh, ROM Raider pops up, you'll get every section you have available to you. But well, we want to head over to... It's going to be uh, Ignition Timing Advanced and the uh, Base Timing B Map. So what we're going to be following, essentially, is uh, a little bit based off of this idea which was posted by uh, Andrew5856 over on FT86 Club. Uh, essentially we're just going to adjust this uh, first field to achieve the effect. Uh, no need to, we're going to do it slightly different. Uh, his are set to about negative 9, we'll do about negative 7. Uh, so simply just to do this we just click in the field, you'll see it highlight in gray up here. We just fire in our negative number. And there we go. One thing I do a little differently than what was shown in the thread is I adjust only the mid-range. We'll change everything from, let's say, 2200 to 5200. So we'll go ahead and start there. And to select multiple cells, just hold control and just kind of click each one. And we'll go ahead and set that to negative 8. And we'll go ahead and actually revert this back to its original value just to be correct. There we go. Now we can go ahead and save our modified bin file. So we'll just go ahead and put that on our desktop. We'll call that nice memes 93. And there we go, save. So this here uh, will always pop up as well every time you edit. Uh, just go ahead and uh, no on that. And uh, when you save it in Open Flash Manager to the tablet, it'll actually correct those uh, checksums for you. So don't even worry about that. I completely taken care of. We now have our new uh, bin file to flash over. So we'll go ahead, uh, put that on the Open Flash tablet and show exactly what you can achieve with this uh, setup. And here we go. So it's completely finished writing now. Now we start the car. I have got to get gas, dude. Good grief. So yeah, we'll let the uh, we'll let the car idle out. It's supposed to go for about 45 seconds or so, and then we'll go for a ride. Especially at high RPM, it's fucking belligerent. Uh, the trick to it is to accelerate a little bit and then to slightly let off. That is fucking all. Oh, have you heard that? <laughs> it's almost on cue. If you really want it to be, it's it's damn near on command, dude. It's awesome. 